in this video, I want to talk about the Davidic prophecies in the Psalms that I have fulfilled. <laughs> Proving that I am the Messiah, the Perusia, the second coming of Jesu Christo, Jesus Christ. Hmm. Anyway, in this book, there are at least 60 prophecies that I have fulfilled, and I'm going to talk about them now. Right. Hey, it's got wine stains on it, rather disgusting, but then I am an alphabet, so what do you expect? Right, okie dokie, let's go through them one by one. Um, doodle 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 doodle. Oh yes, Psalm 6, verse 2. Have mercy upon me, O Lord, for I am weak. O Lord, heal me, for my bones are vexed. Now, <clears throat> the issue of the bones is rather interesting, because back in 2012, right before I... Oh, I'm going to stop this stupid boy. Back in 2012, right before I died and had the first hell experience, my bones were absolutely in a terrible condition. Every single bone in my body was burning. It was like I had arthritis in every joint of my body. It was agony. Um, you know... It started in the hands, then it spread to the legs, the feet. The whole body was just burning with pain. It was awful. So that's me bones of X. That's what I feel. Mine eyes consumed because of grief. It waxeth all. That's verse 7, Psalm 6. To the chief musician on Neginoth upon Sheminith, a psalm of David. Mine eye is consumed because of grief. It waxeth all. Now, I've had problems with my eyes, not just my physical eyes, but also my third eye. And the eye is a central issue in my life. <clears throat> you know, I'm, I'm constantly being told I'm the Dajjal, the one-eyed liar of Islam. Uh, but the Psalms talk about an individual whose eye will be painful, so that's another prophecy I have fulfilled. Uh, let's keep going. Come on, baby. Do a poo. Stop it. I don't know why I'm talking in this ridiculous accent. I'm high at the moment. Uh, oh, come on, where's the next prophecy I fulfilled? <laughs> no, nothing there. No, nothing there. No, nothing there. Nothing there. Oh yeah, <clears throat> I am, okay, Psalm 22, this is a famous one, to the chief musician upon Ajilet Shahar, Psalm of David, Psalm 22, verse 6, but I am a worm and no man, a reproach of men and despised of the people. Now I am like a worm because I'm addicted to substances and I can't stop doing it and um, I'm always out of money and I can't organise my thoughts and I'm just a mess. So I'm a worm, and uh, <clears throat> I got a sign. Uh, I was thinking about this, and I saw the word worm. So that's another prophecy I've um, Fourteen, Psalm twenty-two, verse fourteen. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax; it is melted in the midst of my bowels. So bones are out of joint. That's another prophecy I've heard. As I said before, the first hell experience, all my bones were on fire. So that's another prophecy. I've heard. Um. My verse 15, my strength is dried up like a pot cedar, my tongue cleaveth to my jaws, and thou hast brought me into the dust of death. That's another prophecy I've heard. My tongue uh, cleaveth to my jaws. What happened was my tongue all dried up and it was just stuck in my mouth. It was horrible. That's another prophecy I've heard. Fulfilled. Oh, I'm stop talking this stupid accent. Posh accent. Uh, Psalm 25, verse 7, remember not the sins of my youth. Yeah, I always have this issue, like, thinking back over my life like, when I was a young man, all the horrible sins I committed. So I always try to ask God to forgive me for that. That's another problem. I'm desolate and afflicted. That's verse 16, Psalm 25. Definitely the case with me. I am desolate. I feel like there's no hope. I'm in agony all the time. I'm being tortured by demonic fiends. 
and I'm afflicted with loads of ailments. So that's another prophecy I can tell you. Uh, <coughs> we go through the whole damn book. Yeah, mine eye is consumed with grief. Again, the idea with the eye. Years with sign. This is another thing. I've been, I'm in so much pain all the time. I sigh all the time. I've been doing this for years. Uh, that's, um, my eyes is Psalm 31, verse 9. And then Psalm 31, verse 10. My years with sign. My bones are consumed. Again, the issue of the bones, which I talked about before. Uh, when I kept silence, my bones waxed all through my roaring all the day long. So this is not referring to that thing before the first hell experience. Literally, I reached a stage of so much grief and pain that I couldn't speak anymore. So that's another thing. And that's Psalm 32, verse 3. <clears> hey! <throat> <clears throat> Uh, Psalm 38, verse 3. There neither is any rest in my bones because of my sin. Again, the issue of the bones. Verse 5. My wounds stink and are corrupt because of my parousias. This refers to something that happened a couple of years ago. I had, I had like, sores all over my feet. And, um, it was just disgusting. It was pus everywhere. I had them on my legs as well. And it was because I was taking them as a and scratching and uh, they got infected. It was gross. Verse 7, for my loins are filled with a loathsome disease and there is no soundness in my face. This refers to my testicular cancer. Loins was the testicular area to get the gonads. And uh, <clears throat> that was a horrible experience. That's verse 7, Psalm 30. I had to have the testicle cut out. And, uh, um, I was dumb with silence. That's another thing. Psalm 39, verse 2. Again, like during that first thing before I had experience of passion, before that experience. I couldn't speak. Um, I was dumb. I opened up my mouth because that did verse 9, Psalm 39. Again, the issue of not being able to speak. Psalm 40, verse 2. He brought me up also out of a horrible pit. Now, I believed for a long time that I was in the pit, which was this kind of hellish Hades underworld dimension. And then I asked God for help, and he actually took me out of it a couple of months ago. So that's another verse. Psalm 40, verse 2. <clears throat> Psalm 41 verse 3, 3 The Lord will strengthen him upon the bed of languishing Now will make all his bed in his sickness This, my friends, is the bed of languishing I've been languishing in this bed for years with no hope And God has somehow managed to keep me going So that's Psalm 41 verse 3 Psalm 41 verse 7 All that hate me whisper together against me Against me do they devise my hurt there is an enormous conspiracy against me of monstrous beings, demons, devils, jinn, whatever, fallen angels, archons, I don't know. And they're conspiring with me all the time and they just hate me and they're schemy bastards. Uh, <clears throat> verse 8. An evil dizzy say they cleaveth fast unto him and now that he lieth he shall rise up no more. Verse 9. Yea, my unfamiliar friend in whom I trust the which to my bread and lifted up his heel against me. This refers to the conspiracy and also because I had this friend called Sam Wilde I used to cook for him and then he turned against me so and he was part of a conspiracy as well <clears throat> i think <laughs> psalm 44 verse 15 my confusion is continually before me i've been so confused so long about what's going on in my life so that's another box up verse 19 thou hast Saw broke us in the place of dragons and covered us with the shadow of death. That refers to a dream I had in which I was with some Jews in New York and there were dragons everywhere. Uh, Psalm 45, Thou art fairer than the children of men. When I was a little boy, I was the most beautiful little boy ever. So that's another up for. I fulfilled, not full, full, full. with dog dog. Make me to hear joy and gladness that the bones which thou have broken may rejoice. Psalm 51, verse 8. That's 
Again, referring to the bones, the issue of the bones, the bones, the bones. Do, 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 Psalm 54, for strangers have risen up against me, the press to seek after my soul. I am being oppressed by people I don't even know. Psalm 54, verse 3. Psalm 55, verse 4, my heart is sore pain with me, and the toes of death falls me. First, when I, the two times when I died, I was terrified. Psalm 55. <laughs> Psalm 56, every day they rest my words, all their thoughts are against me of evil. They gather themselves together, they hide themselves, they mark my steps while I wake my soul. That's Psalm 56, verse 5 and 6. First, is a conspiracy against me, the resting of my words is that every time I say something, I hear them echo it, speaking it back, and say it in a, in a condemned, condemning fashion. So that's resting my words, Psalm 56. Whew. Psalm 56, verse 13, for thou hast delivered my soul of death. So, nice, five death, twice. Psalm 57, my soul is among lions, so I was thought like I was dead and I was a soul and I was in hell, and these beings are like powerful lions, so yeah, that's Psalm 57, and that's another one. And I feel like I'm the old lion and they're young lions, well, that's strange. And Psalm 59, verse 6, they return at the evening, they make a noise like a dog go out, go out around the city. Um, this is another thing, every evening I hear this dog noise, it's really bizarre, so that's Psalm 59. Verse 6. Ah, uh, do 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 Psalm 69, I'm weary of my crying, my throat is dry, and my eyes far away wait, while I wait for more. So this is the issue with the eyes, and my throat dry, that, during the first death experience, my throat is really dry, I mean, it's, it's dry a lot because I have dysphagia, so, <clears throat> and my eyes are fucked. Psalm 69, verse 3. Psalm 69, verse 8, I've become a stranger to my brother, this has happened, like, my old friends and family don't talk to me anymore. Um, Psalm 69, verse 10, when I wept and chatted my soul, I fasting up to my reproach, so I, you know, I've been trying to fast so much to purify myself since that's not there. Ah, Psalm 73, for all the day long I've been playing and chatting every morning. This is the thing, it's like every morning is the worst time ever. It's like when all this shit comes on me every morning. So that's not the opposite of it. Ah, From Psalm 77 to the chief musician to Jeduthun, the psalm of Asaph. I'm so troubled that I can't speak. That's another thing that happened to me. I was in such a bad way. In 2012, I literally couldn't speak. I was dumb. It's crazy. No, oh, nothing there. Oh, I'm, I'm sure there are other prophecies out there. I haven't found there. I need to read this again. There may be hundreds of them, but you never know. The Bible is full of mysteries. Beautiful book. Absolutely lovely book. My favorite book in the whole wide world, man. Ooh, blinky dinky do. Psalm 88, I'm counted with them that go down into the pit. So there's another thing, I thought I had gone into the pit in 2020. Thou hast laid me the lowest pit and darkness in the depths, as I rattle I hard upon me, and I was with all thy ways. So this felt like God hated me, I was in hell, so that's Psalm 88, 6 and 7. Psalm 88, 9, my eye mourneth by reason of affliction. Again, the whole issue with the eye, whether it's the physical eye or the third eye, it's now both my own agony. Oh, quinky <laughs> dinky do. Bring a dear old, bring a dear old, bring a bring a dear old, bring a dear old, bring a dear old. Oh, 
Psalm 102, by reason of the voice of my groanings, my bones cleave to my skin. Verse 5, so again, the issue of the bones. 20, to hear the groaning of the prisoner. This is another thing. I always think I'm in prison in this flat, and I groan all the time, so that's another lie I've heard. Oh. I'm hearing the voices now oppressing me savagely, saying, Chris is Satan, he's my father. Absolutely horrible. So I keep seeing his face in my head, it makes me think it's true, it's awful. Oh, so much grief in my life. Oh, Psalm 116, the sorrows of death compass me. Verse 3, so that's another thing. I keep thinking I'm dead and in hell. I keep thinking I died. I was greatly afflicted, Psalm 10. I said in my haste, all men are lies. So I'm this happened to me a lot because I couldn't trust anyone. I thought everyone was a liar. Uh, I'm a devil. Zabal, Zabal. Uh, <clears throat> Psalm 118, verse 12, they compass me around about like bees. This is another thing I've experienced. I've, I've experienced in my life. But they're they're like bees. They're always busy doing stuff, and they're always around me, and they're always like attacking me. And I saw a sign confirming this. So, um, Psalm one one nine. I am a stranger in the earth. This is another thing. I feel like I don't belong here. Psalm twenty. Psalm. Um, oh, what is it? Psalm. 119 verse 20 remove me from the way of lying i said i kept lying all the time and I, I begged god to help me stop lying so that's another thing i fulfilled i think i dare i think how long is this video? 17 minutes crikey uh. Psalm 119, verse 141, I am small and despised. Psalm 119, 147, I prevented the dawning of the small, small and despised, I always think I'm the worst person ever. And one day, actually, one morning, the morning the morning was skipped. I, the day, a day was actually gained. So really strange. And that's like preventing the dawning of the morning. I'm going fast. I need to do this a uh, better one, really. But... Uh, just want to put this all on video because I uh, forget about it at some point. I need to remember this. Psalm 131, my soul is even as a weaned child. Yes, I keep feeling like I'm a big baby. And these devils that call themselves pedophiles, so it's like I'm a weaned child. It's another prophecy I have fulfilled. I don't think there are any more. Uh, getting close to the end of the book now. We'll just check, see if there are any more. There may be. I underlined the ones, you see, so I can quickly find them. Ooh. No, I think that's it. So anyway, that's my video. All the Davidic prophecies I fulfilled. Thanks for watching.